risk management in financial market. We all know that derivative is a product whose value is derived from the value of one or more basic variables called basis in a contractual manner. In this lesson, we will discuss the meaning and concept of a derivative, know about the different types of options, identify the difference between future and forward contract, and discuss the type of swaps. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain derivatives, define forward contract, describe future contracts, distinguish pricing futures, analyze option, explain different types of option, understand what is swap, and discuss the types of swaps. A derivative is a financial instrument or more simply an agreement between two people or two parties that has a value determined by the price of something else called the underlying. Derivatives are those assets whose value is determined from the value of some underlying assets. It is a financial contract with a value linked to the expected future price movements of the asset it is linked to, such as a share or a currency. There are many kinds of derivatives with the most notable being swaps, futures and options. A forward contract is an agreement made today between a buyer and a seller to exchange the commodity or instrument for cash at a predetermined future date at a price agreed upon today. A futures contract is a standardized contract between two parties to buy or sell a specified asset of standardized quantity and quality at a specified future date at a price agreed today. Index futures are the future contracts for which underlying is the cash market index. Basis is defined as the difference between cash and future prices. Operators in the derivatives market are Hedges are the operators who want to transfer a risk component of their portfolio. Speculators are the operators who intentionally take the risk from hedges in pursuit of profit. Arbitragers are operators who operate in the different markets simultaneously in pursuit of profit and eliminate mispricing. Next is pricing futures. Fair price equals to spot price plus cost of carry minus inflows. FPT is the fair price of the asset at time T for time T. CPT is cash price of the asset. RTT is the interest rate at the time T for the period up to T. DTT is inflows in terms of dividend or interest between T and T. Cost of carry equals to financing cost, storage cost and insurance cost. If future price is greater than fair price, buy in the cash market and simultaneously sell in the future market. If futures price is less than fair price, then sell in the cash market and simultaneously buy in the futures market. The situation where the price of a commodity for future delivery is higher than the spot price or where a far future delivery price is higher than a nearer future delivery, it is known as contango. The reverse where the price of a commodity for future delivery is lower than the spot price or where a far future delivery price is lower than a nearer future delivery, it is known as backwardation. Futures contracts may be classified into two categories. First is commodity futures, where the underlying is a commodity or physical asset, such as wheat, cotton, butter, eggs, etc. Second is financial futures, where the underlying is a financial asset, such as foreign exchange, interest rates, shares, treasury bills or stock index. Next is risk management through futures. First is long hedge means when you hedge by going long in futures market. Short hedge means when you hedge by going short in futures market. Cross hedge means when a futures contract is not available on an asset. You hedge your position in the cash market on this asset by going long or short on the futures for another asset whose prices are closely associated with that 
of your underlying. Hedge ratio means number of future contracts required to hedge the position. Portfolio restructuring is an act of increasing or decreasing the equity exposure of a portfolio quickly with the help of index futures. Index funds are the funds which imitate or replicate index with an objective to generate the return equivalent to the index. Next is speculation in the futures market. Speculation is all about taking position in the futures market without having the underlying. Speculators operate in the market with motive to make money. Next is margining in futures market. Daily margins are collected to cover the losses that have already taken place on open positions. Initial margins are the margins to cover the potential losses for one day. Buy a future to agree to take delivery of a commodity. This will protect against a rise in price in the spot market as it produces a gain if spot prices rise. Buying a future is said to be going long. Sell a future to agree to make delivery of a commodity. This will protect against a fall in price in the spot market as it produces a gain if spot prices fall. Selling a future is said to be going short. The spot price is the current price of a commodity. Futures price equals to spot price plus costs of carrying. An option is a contractual agreement that gives the option buyer the right but not the obligation to purchase in the case of a call option or to sell in the case of a put option, a specified instrument at a specified price at any time of the option buyer's choosing by or before a fixed date in the future. Features of the option are the option is exercisable only by the owner, namely the buyer of the option. Owners of the option have no right affordable to shareholders such as voting right and dividend right. Options are popular because they allow the buyer profits from favorable movements in exchange rate. Options involve buying counter positions by the option sellers. An investor who writes a call option against Stock held in his portfolio is said to be selling covered options. Options sold without the stock to back them up are called naked options. Options are classified into two broad categories. First is call option. A call option gives the buyer the right to buy a fixed number of shares or commodities in a particular security at the exercise price up to the date of expiration of the contract. The call option gives the buyer a right to buy the requisite shares on a specific date at a specific price. This puts the seller under the obligation to sell the shares on that specific date and specific price. Next is put option. It is the reverse of the call option deal. There is a contract to sell a particular number of underlying assets on a particular date at a specific price. Credit derivatives have evolved as major risk management tools. A credit derivative is a financial instrument used to mitigate or to assume specific forms of credit risk by hedgers and speculators. The credit linked notes market is one of the fastest growing areas in credit derivative sector. These notes are created through a special purpose vehicle SPV or trust which is collateralized with AAA rated securities. A credit default swap is a swap in which counterparty receives a premium at preset intervals in consideration for guaranteeing to make a specific payment should a negative credit even take place. A variation on the credit option is a credit spread option. Buying or selling an option on a borrower's credit spread provides an opportunity to gain exposure on the borrower's future credit risk. A swap can be defined as the exchange of one stream of future cash flows with another stream of cash flows with different characteristics. A swap is an agreement between two or more people or parties to exchange sets of cash flows over a period in the future. Swaps can be divided into two types. First currency swap the currency swap are agreements whereby currencies are exchanged at specified exchange rates and specified intervals. 
The basic purpose of swaps is to lock in the rate. Second, interest rate swaps. An interest rate swap is an agreement whereby one party exchanges one set of interest rate payments for another. The most common interest rate swap is one whereby one counterparty pays a fixed rate, the swap rate, while receiving a floating rate, usually pegged to LIBOR. Types First fixed for floating rate swap, same currency. Party P pays or receives fixed interest in currency A to receive or pay floating rate in currency A indexed to X on a notional N for a tenure T years. 2. Fixed for floating rate swap, different currencies. Party P pays or receives fixed interest in currency A to receive or pay floating rate in currency B indexed to X on a notional N at an initial exchange rate of Fx for a tenure of T years. Then floating for floating rate swap, same currency. Party P pays or receives floating interest in currency A indexed to X to receive or pay floating rate in currency A indexed to Y on a notional N for a tenure of T years. Floating for floating rate swap different currencies. Party P pays or receives floating interest in currency A indexed to X to receive pay or floating rate in currency B indexed to Y on a notional N at an initial exchange rate of Fx for a tenor of T years. The most common and simplest swap is a plain vanilla interest swap. In this swap, Party A agrees to pay Party B a predetermined fixed rate of interest on a notional principle on specific dates for a specified period of time. Concurrently, Party B agrees to make payments based on a floating interest rate to Party A on that same notional principle on the same specified dates for the same specified time period. In a plain vanilla swap, the two cash flows are paid in the same currency. The plain vanilla currency swap involves exchanging principal and fixed interest payments on a loan in one currency for principal and fixed interest payments on a similar loan in another currency. Unlike an interest rate swap, the parties to a currency swap will exchange principal amounts at the beginning and end of the swap. Total return swap is a swap in which party A pays the total return of an asset and party B makes periodic interest payments. The total return is the capital gain or loss plus any interest or dividend payments. Total return swap is also known as total rate of return swap or TROR-S. An equity swap is a special type of total return swap where the underlying asset is a stock, a basket of stocks or a stock index. A variant swap is a financial derivative whose payoff is equal to the difference between the square of annualized realized volatility, that is the annualized realized variance of returns on the underlying price and a fixed quantity, sometimes known as the variance strike over a given period. It is effectively a forward contract on the realized variance. Variance swaps can be used to trade volatility directly. The profit and loss from a variance swap depends directly on the difference between realized and implied volatility. A swaption is an option granting its owner the right but not the obligation to enter into an underlying swap. A pair swaption gives the owner of the swaption the right to enter into a swap where they pay the fixed leg and receive the floating leg. A receiver swaption gives the owner of the swaption the right to enter into a swap where they will receive the fixed leg and pay the floating leg. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. The terms of the futures contracts are negotiable. Right or wrong? Wrong. A swap is an agreement between two or more people or parties to exchange sets of cash flows over a period in future. Right or wrong? Right. The profit and loss from a variant swap 
depends directly on the difference between realized and implied volatility. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Derivatives are those assets whose value is determined from the value of some underlying assets. The underlying asset may be equity, commodity or currency. The list of derivative assets is long. Hedging an investment in a stock with a short position in another stock's futures is not an acceptable hedge because of effectiveness concerns. A forward contract is an agreement made today between a buyer and a seller to exchange the commodity or instrument for cash at a predetermined future date at a price agreed upon today. Future contracts are standardized tradable contracts fixed in terms of size, contract date and all other features. A swaption is an option granting its owner the right but not the obligation to enter into an underlying swap. A swap is an agreement between two or more people or parties to exchange set of cash flows over a period in future. An option is a contractual agreement that gives the option buyer the right but not the obligation to purchase or to a specified instrument at a specified price at any time of the option buyers choosing by or before a fixed date in the future.